Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a very exciting one because as you guys know, I'm going to Los Angeles this week by the time that you see this next week by the time that I'm filming this. But I'm going to LA. I cannot believe that I'm going. It's just madness to be honest. I'm going with Honor Active um, for a brand trip and yeah, I'm just so, so excited. I'm of course going to vlog it for you guys. That will be next week's video but this video is going to be a prep and pack with me for LA so I'm starting it now it's now Wednesday the I don't know what the date is I think it's like the 13th because technically the prep kind of starts today I'm going to the traffic centre tonight with Courtney and we're going to do some shopping Courtney is also coming to LA with me and um, so I think we're going to go to the traffic centre we are going to do some autumnal shopping as well as getting some little bits for LA. So I'm kind of counting this as the start of the prep and pack for LA. Um, tomorrow I have my LVL, my eyelashes. At some point this week, I need to get a pedicure. Monday I have my manicure because I'm sorry guys, but these are just tragic. And then this one has just snapped this morning. Um, so yeah, they need to get fixed. That's Monday and then literally the day before I go, Tuesday, Guys, I'm getting hair extensions. I am so excited. I don't know if I actually like mentioned this on my YouTube a couple of weeks ago. I did say something on my Instagram, but I just wanted everyone's like recommendations on what type of extensions to get and everything because I was contemplating it. And then I just thought to myself, do you know what? Going to Los Angeles for a brand trip and meeting so many of you guys is only gonna happen once in a lifetime. So I just thought, fuck it, let's just get the hair extensions, let's just live life because what if I die next week or the week after? Do you know what I mean? I'd regret not getting the hair extensions because I do like my hair, I do. Um, it's not bad at all, it's not awful, but it's not great, it's not what I want it to be. I was just not blessed with the most amazing hair. It's long and it's like in good condition or whatever, but it's just so thin and I just want the thickness. I do want it to be a little bit longer as well. I'm going 20 inches, guys, but that actually means nothing to me because I don't really know what that looks like. But yeah, we're going 20 inches and I think I'm gonna, you can't really see now because my hair is so greasy and slicked back. It's a little bit blonde right now, especially when it's washed, the front bits are quite blonde. But I think I'm just gonna do an all over brunette because I only ordered one color, like one block color for the extensions, which is a brown. I didn't get like two colors to kind of like mix together. Um, and obviously we're coming into autumn, winter time, and I don't know about anyone else, but that at this, at this time of the year, I just always wanna go dark with my hair. And then when it gets to around like May next year, I'll go light again. It's just a fun thing to do. I just like switching things around because I get bored really easily. <laughs> so yeah, that is happening the day before I go. I really, I'm so excited because I've obviously, I've never had extensions before. Um, I am getting a full weft weft i've heard that they are the ones that maybe cause like the least damage because that was something that was really important to me was getting ones that cause as little damage as possible obviously i know extensions are not good for your hair and they're going to cause a little bit of damage um it's inevitable it's hair extensions but i obviously wanted to find the ones that cause the least damage and i've heard that certain ones are not the best but I've been recommended by a really good friend as well, Hebe. She has a weft and I really value my friend's opinion. So I did go with her advice and that's what I've got. So I'll update you guys and let you guys know how I'm getting on with them. Obviously it's kind of a long term thing. Like I think they're in for like three months or so and then you obviously either get them taken out or refitted or whatever. Um, but they're meant to last a long time. So yeah, I'm gonna have them for the foreseeable future. I did only want them as a really short term thing but then I also just thought, um, I know I just want them so I'm gonna get them and yeah that is the part that I'm most excited for about this glow up but it's the last part which is really annoying but save the best to last but I thought I would just kind of make this like a full week in my life basically obviously I'm going exactly a week today and I'm just kind of doing things here and there throughout the week in the lead up to going so it's basically a week in my life a week of prepping and packing for LA but I'm gonna take you guys along on my gym session this morning I'm training back and biceps which I'm excited for it's a really lovely sunny day today I hope it's kind of cold outside though because I don't know about anyone else but the heat wave that we have just had in the UK was just absolutely not my vibe I am an autumn winter girly at heart and the fact that it was a heat wave in September made me really sad because I've ordered my Uggs, I've started ordering autumnal decor for the flat 
and I came back from a holiday at the start of September and I thought it was going to be cold but it wasn't, it was roasting, it was hotter than my holiday <laughs> which was not fun but I think it's finally starting to cool down I'm probably going to regret saying this when it comes around to like February and it's been raining for like five months straight but at the moment I want the leaves to be crispy on the floor I want them to be brown, I want it to be raining and I don't want it to be cloudy but I can't be mad at a little bit of sun I love it in autumn when it's kind of like sunny but you've got that winter chill like it's really, it's like the, the, the sunny like frosty mornings I love those mornings but yeah that is gonna be today's plan gonna go train and I've actually got a call with Brenda today about our leg workout at the LA event so me and Brenda are gonna be hosting the build your legs workout which is gonna be hosted on the Saturday and the Sunday I think it's in the afternoon on the Saturday and then in the morning on the Sunday so anybody that is coming to the LA Honor Active Festival and got the tickets for mine and Brenda's leg workout I'm so excited to meet you guys and I'm so excited to take you through a brutal leg workout yeah I've got I'm gonna FaceTime her today at like three o'clock obviously she's in America so different time zones and stuff but yeah I'm gonna FaceTime her today and we're gonna plan the workout we've got to make a playlist and everything and yeah it's all becoming so real and I can't believe how quickly it's all like come round feels like ages ago since I was told about this event and it wasn't even that long ago but I feel like it's just it's just literally flying round and I know it's gonna be red hot in LA so when I get back you best believe I'm gonna have the trench coats out it better be raining the leaves better be crispy on the floor and do you know what I think I'm gonna do in October because I get back like end of September what I'm gonna do in October is watch a horror film every single day for 31 days how good of an idea is that <coughs> I think I just had a leftover oat regurgitate in my throat from my breakfast <coughs> yeah if you guys know me you know that I love horror films I've spoken about it so much on my channel how much I love horror films I actually went to the cinemas um, a couple days ago to watch The Nun too by myself and it was really good. It wasn't as good as the first Nun but it was good. It was a bit more like it wasn't so much about The Nun as much as the first one was but it was good highly recommend but yeah I think I'm gonna go watch not in the cinemas necessarily I'm gonna watch them at home but there is also some unreal looking horror films coming out like end of September start of October in the cinemas so I think I'll go on a few solo dates to watch those because none of my friends like horror films so I just have to go by myself Anton is now back at uni so you know you've just got to do these things on your own sometimes my friends are all wimps <laughs> but yeah i will of course keep you guys updated and i'm gonna make a big list of the horror films that i watch and rate them out of 10 and i might make that little series on my channel just talk about it a little in my videos but yeah i'm gonna stop blabbing on because my arm hurts and this camera is not even big like what is wrong with me but here is today's gym fit so i've got the white why am i so washed out i've got the white timeless strappy bralette i've actually done it as a halter neck today i don't know if you can see it um and then i've got 70 percent cocoa effortless leggings on and i love this like brown and white neutral autumnal combo i had gossip girl on as always you guys know me my flat wouldn't be my flat if gossip girl wasn't on but yeah oh my gosh i need to address the elephant in the room because i've not vlogged yet with it there guys look at that masterpiece i love that so much that might be my favorite thing in my whole flat that wall was just like so bare and i knew that i wanted to get something on it obviously i've only just moved in a couple months ago i wanted to get something on it at some point i didn't know if i wanted it to be like a big picture or a print or a few prints i don't know and then obviously me being me watch watched gossip girl maybe about 50 times over and over again this is in the van der woodson's penthouse and you know i just did a little google search and i just wanted to see if i could maybe get it anywhere and i found it on decenio which is like that print brand it's not as big as i would have wanted it to be i literally wanted it to like fill the whole wall but it still looks good it still looks pretty big um and i'm really happy with it i love it i feel like it's it fills that space but not with too much like it's not too much going on and it's super simple but yeah that is from decenio i've actually had so many questions on like instagram and stuff of where that is from and it was kind of expensive i got the biggest size that was available and i think it was around like 90 pounds but you obviously have to get the frame with it as well which was kind of like half of that price so the actual print in itself is not 
that bad if you maybe want to blue tack it to the wall instead or something but I don't think it would look as good. Yeah I'm just about to head off to the gym. I actually got a EHP Labs parcel yesterday which was my September monthly order and I have a new flavour pre-workout in there so I'm going to use that today. It's in the flavour Rainbow Candy which I've never tried before because it is actually a pretty new flavour. I'm pretty sure it's like only just come out so I'm going to try that this morning and I will give you a little taste test review. Sorry about the lighting, I'm just in my building car park, but I'm just going to do a taste test of this new flavour. I've been so excited to try this, it just sounds right up my alley, so let's give it a try. Mmm, that is so good. Wow. That is well nice. I actually think that might be my new favourite flavour. That is so good. I'm trying to think of what it tastes like. It really does just taste like sweets. Unreal. Highly recommend that. Also guys, I highly recommend this bottle because, do you know what? I don't know about anyone else, but I hear, right, when I have my pre-workout in my car, it's kind of like a kind of long journey for me to get to the gym. It's like 25 minute drive. Um, so like if I leave my pre in my door for a little because I usually have it like 15 when I'm 15 minutes away If I put it in my door and then I pick it up, it's all like settled at the bottom So this is just unreal. You just give it a little whiz and then it's mixed up again And it's so easy to clean too because you put water in it and fairy liquid And then you just like zap it like this and it cleans it really well Better than like all the shakers in my opinion and I think it definitely like doesn't smell as much as the other ones because you can actually properly like clean it so highly recommend this bottle and also highly recommend this flavor of pre-workout i also got delivered um a new flavor of oxy shred yesterday in juicy watermelon which i am going to try at some point point. Um, i'm not having oxy shred so much now that i'm in a gaining phase i'd rather just have my pride pre-workout i prefer pride as a pre-workout anyway you can use oxy shred um as a pre but I find it not to be as good and not as strong as pride which is why I have pride instead of oxy shred love this flavor I'm gonna absolutely rinse this tub will be finished in a few weeks so yeah let's head off to the gym and train pull okay I've just pulled up to the gym and do you know what as I was drinking this on the way here I was trying to think of a word to summarize this flavor do you know what the word is skittles it tastes exactly like skittles if you've ever had skittles I don't know if they're in the US my American followers but my UK girlies it tastes like Skittles although it was kind of lukewarm which wasn't ideal it was still nice which is saying something so like imagine the potential with ice I'm gonna have it with ice tomorrow and I think that will be a game changer but my favorite flavor of all the prides so far my two favorites were raspberry and fantasy soda and they're still top three but this is one this is number one
dinner, which is meal prep. As per usual, you guys know the drill by now. Um, and as you can probably hear, Gossip Girl is on in the background. What a surprise. And I have watched this a million times over and Vanessa never gets any less annoying. I am not a Vanessa stan, or I don't really think anybody is. She's so annoying. You know when the character just makes you... Anyway, moving on. I'm just making my gravy because I can't have a Sunday dinner, which is what my meal prep is, without gravy. It's just not a Sunday dinner without gravy. Can you tell I'm Yorkshire? <laughs> Can you tell I'm Northern? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have that and then I've got quite a bit of work to do this afternoon before I go um, to Trafford Centre with Courtney. So I'm gonna get all that done and then I will take you guys to the Trafford Centre with me. All right guys, I'm just about to head to the Trafford Centre. Here is the outfit. I did have jeans on, but then I just was not vibing with the jeans, guys. Like, I need to just actually get into practice of wearing jeans because I feel like it's just a really autumnal, wintry outfit piece, but I just can't do it. They're just uncomfortable. So I went for my default on a leggings, timeless ones, because these are the comfiest ever. And I'm wearing a bodysuit from Zara underneath it and it looks like an all-in-one. It looks really cute. This jacket is from Zara and then my YSL bag and my neck SBs. But yeah, I'm gonna head now and meet Courtney. I don't know if I have to take my camera or not. I'm gonna get some clips either way, but I might just get them on my phone. We'll see. All right, guys, we've just got to the Trafford Centre. We've got me. <laughs> we've both got a steak sober. Courtney saved her calories. Uh -huh. She's still on her cut, and I'm bulking. So I got um, the Tama squid, which is the best side, by the way. Unreal. But so we're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna shop. <laughs> right, I'm now back from shopping. I'm so sorry for the lack of vlogging. But me and Courtney just had a nice time looking around. We didn't really get too much stuff. I got some bits from Primark. My camera just ran out of storage. But I'll give you a little Primark haul. It was very small. Um, but I got some seamless thongs because I feel like you can never go wrong. And then I got something that I've not worn in a very long time. Some bras. Just because sometimes with some outfits that I wear. Maybe like a dress or something that's very booby. As in like... I don't have any nipple covers and all this. I feel like it would just be easier to wear a bra and also some tops. Obviously, it's not a often occurrence that I would wear a bra, but I just got them just so that I kind of have them, to be honest. I got an A, which was quite promising because I don't even think I'm going to fill that, but you know what? Who, who gives a fuck? And then I got these pyjamas, which are so cute. It's like a matching top and short set i am just obsessed with these i think they're the cutest little pajamas ever that is just one thing that i love about primark the pajamas and then lastly i got another pajama set so it's just this really cute like silky satin like pajama set with a cute top and shorts i don't know about anyone else but I cannot wear like long sleeves and long bottoms to bed, even in the winter, even when it's snowing outside and it's freezing, I absolutely cannot do it. It needs to be short sleeves and shorts all year round because I am just such like a hot sleeper. Like even in winter, I usually always like end up having a leg out of the covers. I just get so warm. And the main star of the show, guys, I did not intend on making a expensive purchase tonight, but I saw this bag in Selfridges and I was just obsessed. So, is this Gucci bag? I just thought it was so cute. Do you know what? It was part of the re-Selfridge section in Selfridges, which I've never bought anything from before. Um, and it basically means that it's like secondhand. So like people that have obviously pre-owned these don't want them anymore and that's where they go in Selfridges. I got it as well because I feel like it's quite not sentimental but it has like meaning behind it like this bag i asked the lady and she said it's from the 90s which i just find like so interesting and i think that's so cool um obviously it has a lot more kind of history rather than just buying a brand new designer bag i, I personally quite like the fact that it has been pre-owned and that it's like 30 years old and i just think that's so cool and also the condition that it's in 30 years later um I just really like the idea and I've never had any, I've never bought any bags like secondhand. So I just thought it was really cute and it's it's literally the most perfect, simple like throw on bag with any outfit. And I think it's just like the perfect size. It's not too big and it's not too small. And 
I just love it. So happy with it and I'm definitely taking this to LA with me. But yeah, that was the little haul. Um, tomorrow morning I have got my LVL, which is very much needed. My eyelashes are looking very light, so I need some dye on them. And then I think the day after I'm going to get a pedicure. Um, but yeah, of course I'm going to take you guys along. I'm definitely going to need to start packing, maybe even tomorrow. Hey guys, it's now the next day and I'm just about to head off to my LVL appointment. I'm taking her out on her first outing. I'm just obsessed. It's just the perfect shoulder bag i love her so much i'm wearing my new uggs my tasmans and then i've got the slate blue on her active tracksuit on and my hair is so greasy that i'm just trying to hold it off for as long as possible because i'm getting my hair done at the start of next week um and i need i'm gonna wash my hair once before i go probably on the sunday because i don't want to go to callum with my hair absolutely disgusting i think he would hate me <laughs> so yeah i'm holding off for another couple days and then i'm gonna wash it and then it's extension time i cannot tell you how excited i am to get extensions i know it just seems like such a superficial thing obviously it's about my appearance um and I, I don't need them or anything but it's just something that i'm really excited for and i've always wanted to get them but i've never done it and yeah, I'm just really excited because I feel like it would just make me feel so much more confident as well. So excited to take you guys along on that appointment. But yeah, I've got my glasses on because I can't really get LVL with my contact lenses in. I've done it before and it's really just not comfortable because my eyes sting a little and obviously you've got your eyes closed for a long amount of time. So it's not very good to have your contact lenses in. So yeah, I'm going with my glasses on. It's a rest day for me as well today. So once I'm done with this appointment, I'm just going to come back and chill. It's a very well needed rest day because my whole body is so sore. Like when I tell you my muscles are aching, they're aching. I might need to get another bath today. But yeah, that's the plan. I will catch up with you guys in the car and do a little before and after of my lashes. lashes are done i love them so much i feel like i will just never get eyelash extensions again because i just feel like these are just so much more me and yeah i just love them just just like the little enhancements that they're just rocking my world at the moment we're going for the makeup look but without any actual makeup kind of vibe yeah i'm gonna go home now um i think i might actually just first time Courtney because we were gonna go get a pedicure together um tomorrow but i might just go today because i only need to go home and have my dinner and i'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day um so i'm gonna just see if she wants to come with me because we're just gonna go to a walking one um, hey Hello. you okay yeah oh, so i'm going well. to book you in for, for tuesday i might see if i can get a pedicure on tuesday where i'm getting my hair done because it is a hair and nail salon so i'll just see what they say then it just obviously i can just I don't have to get them separately and I just it kills two birds with one stone and I feel like because I'm getting extensions I've never had them before but I know that they take so long like I'm gonna be there all day and do get a little bit bored so I feel like if I could get a pedicure at the same time that's just absolutely perfect but yeah I'm gonna go home now and i'm gonna have my dinner because i'm really hungry it's one o'clock so it's dinner time okay guys i am back from my appointment and i just had my meal prep for my dinner but i'm gonna go to the shops now and get some food in because i haven't done like a big food shop since like the start of this week and i'm not gonna do another one because obviously i go away in a week so and i've got some meal preps as well and um, ready i've got like three meal preps left which is obviously like three days so i should be good for dinner i just need to get stuff for my tea for the next few days my mum is staying tomorrow night so i need to get some stuff for her and my sister and yeah just some last little bits because i don't want to obviously leave anything in the fridge have anything left over when i go away so yeah i'm gonna go to lidl now Hey guys, it's now a few days later. It is Monday the 18th, so I go to LA this week. I go in two days. It's literally coming around so quick. But I just wanted to update you guys because I've packed basically most of my suitcase. I'm so sorry that I didn't film it. 
when it's literally a prep and pack. I filmed it for a reel and then I just completely forgot to pick up my camera for YouTube. I'm gonna just quickly run you through what I've packed. So we'll start off with the non-clothes aspect of stuff. So I'm gonna pack my Birkenstocks, I think, if I have room, um, just because they're obviously, you just slip them on and they're easy. I've got some heels, because I do think we are going um, for some meals out. Got some trainers, because I'm not really sure what to wear for the event. I don't really know whether to wear like Jimmy trainers or nice trainers. Um, but I brought these blue trainers as well, my SBs, which I can just wear out and about, maybe if we go like shopping or something. Um, all my hair stuff is in here, so I've got clips, hairspray, hair oil, everything like that. And then in this one, I've put all my rollers in. And then this is my makeup bag. Uh, I'm not even really going to wear any makeup up until I go now. I might just put a little bit on for my hair appointment tomorrow because girlies know that your hair never looks good if you don't look good, like, in your face. <laughs> so I feel like I need to put some on tomorrow to really just see the full picture of my hair being done. Packed my perfumes. Also, guys, a hack for perfumes so that it obviously doesn't, like, smash. I put it, like, inside my shoes. I need to do that with this one, but then it doesn't, like smash around in your suitcase um pack my hairbrush i've got my air wrap and my straighteners and then in this one we have the clothes so this big one here is well there's a couple of miscellaneous bikinis there i don't really know if i'm going to be wearing those but i brought them just in case um but the rest of this is tops and dresses so that's more like going out kind of stuff um in this one we have got like bottoms so i've got jeans shorts and then a skirt in there and then this one at the bottom i've got jackets so i've got um like my leather jacket and a couple of blazers and then this one is some gym clothes i am getting the birthday collection like once we're there so i've kind of packed light with the gym clothes i might even take a few bits out to be honest i don't think i really need all this um because i obviously do need to leave a lot of room in my suitcase because we're getting basically like the whole of the birthday collection almost i believe in la so i obviously need to leave room for that and also wait i feel like this is going to be over as it is anyway <laughs> um this one is boring that's just like underwear and pajamas I need to put these pyjamas in there, actually. I just washed those. But yeah, that is where we're at so far. I need to pack my bag. I'm taking my new bag. I think I might might just take that one because I need to not excessively overpack. This is my vitamins. I'm taking these. And then also, this is actually a really good idea. I put my creatine in one of my spare little spice thingamajigs and it is glass which is not ideal but I'm gonna do the shoe thing and I'm gonna put it in my shoe um I did want like a freezer bag but I don't have any so we're just gonna put it in there for now and then my wash bag is in the bathroom because obviously I still need it over the next couple of days but this is my wash bag so on this side we have skincare it's obviously not full yet because i still need to use stuff over the next couple of days but that's going to be like face wash moisturizer everything like that this one is going to be more like body kind of stuff so i've got shampoo and conditioner deodorant moisturizer i've got tampons as well because ugh, literally the worst possible time to come on is this time of the month but do you know what it's fine we're gonna work through it but yeah this is a big boy so i still need to get this in and i obviously need to pack the essentials like my toothbrush and everything but that'll be a last minute job but yeah that is where we're at so far this afternoon i have my nail appointment because guys i've already shown you these but they're absolutely disgusting and they have just snapped a little bit more in the gym this morning so that's really good but i'm gonna i've decided i'm gonna branch out and i'm gonna get almond shape I've never had my nails almond shape in my life. This would be the first time like my natural nails are being shaped to the almond shape. But I've heard that they like it makes your nails like snap less and it's like less damaging for your nails if they're almond. And apparently it's easier like in the gym and stuff. So I'm gonna get that this time and I'm gonna get like a little ombre. Let me just show you a little inspo pick. I'm gonna get like a little pink to white milky ombre kind of nail so these are what i'm thinking can you see that yeah so i'm gonna get almond and obviously they're not gonna be too like sharp or long but i just love this kind of design like the ombre really natural and as i said the other day i just always get french so i feel like i just want to switch it up a little um and try something a little different but also how good do my lashes look a few days later i feel like they always look the best like a few days later after getting them done because when you first get them done they all like stick together 
Um, because obviously you can't get them wet for like 24 hours and they all like stick together so they're all like clumpy. Um, but once you can like wash your face and get water on them and stuff, I feel like they just look so much better. It genuinely just looks like I'm wearing mascara and I've got no makeup on. But yeah, that is today, manicure. And then tomorrow is hair and pedicure. I'm so excited to get my hair done, guys. I know I keep going on about it. I need to just shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I will take you guys along on my nail appointment today. I'm just about to head to get my nails done. But I'm wearing the brand new birthday collection lounge. So this is the zip up in sandstone it's actually like a longer um version so this bit at the bottom right here is actually like quite thick as you can see like this band here but i've just tucked it up just because with the joggers i just prefer the look of it um just a little bit more cropped like that but yeah this is the brand new like logo in for the birthday collection lounge these are the cargo joggers in sandstone as well and yeah these are limited edition obviously they are part of the birthday collection so they will be launching on monday the 25th um of september on site and then if you are coming to the la festival this weekend then they will be available for pre-order at the event on the 23rd and the 24th but other than that they will be fully live on the site on the 25th i did actually get my pictures back from the shoot that i went to london for a few weeks ago obviously i did vlog it for you guys and i couldn't really show you much but i will put the pictures on the screen now of what the pieces look like and what the photos look like it is obviously just wearing the new birthday collection so if you guys are wondering what it looks like you want to get ready for the launch next week then maybe just screenshot some of the pictures and let me know what is your favorite color from the collection but yeah let's go get these nails fixed who can make me feel better wrap me up in a sweater treat my pain with the kiss then suddenly you are here inside my head everywhere with Okay guys, just finished up at my nail appointment and genuinely guys, these are my favourite nails I have ever had in my life. Look at those. I am obsessed. I have never had almond nails before. I'm well and truly converted. I love these so much and I feel like they feel so much like safer. I don't know what it is about a square. So much more like snappable and they feel like they're obviously very sharp when you touch them but these just feel so like easy and i feel like they're gonna be so much better in the gym too but i love the ombre so much i will put um her out on the screen i get them done by a girl called millie and she's so good but yeah i'll put her out on the screen if you are in the manchester area but i'm gonna go home now um and i'll probably finish off the packing and yeah i'll catch up with you guys when we get home i've just got home i am genuinely obsessed with these nails i feel like i keep going on about it but i just think they're so like classy and cute i love them so much but i'm gonna just do a little bit more packing but with regards to packing i still need to add a few bits that i've not added yet oh my gosh i think my armpits are like really hairy i need to have like my everything shower tonight um but yeah i ordered an american adapter because that is something that i forgot about i ordered that yesterday it should come today at some point but that would have been a disaster <laughs> if i forgot to order one of those but got all like pack all like charges and everything like that but i washed my bed sheets because i wanted to just come back to just like fresh sheets in a week i'm also just gonna like clean the flat it's very windy outside today it's honestly sunny as well this morning it was absolutely chucking it down and now it's sunny but yeah I'm, i've washed my sheets so that they're nice and fresh for when i get back i'm gonna do a quick like whiz around the apartment i'm gonna back i'm gonna mop and i'm gonna just clean just a little bit just i don't know about anyone else but when i get back from holiday i, I like everything to literally be spotless 
So yeah, I might do that either tonight or in the morning. I have got a friend coming around tonight. So maybe not tonight, but I will do it tomorrow, either before or after my hair. But what's left is hair and pedicure. My toes are absolutely disgusting right now. They're outgrown and the nail varnish is just all chipped. Like they just need help to be honest. But I've got a gossip girl on. Is anyone surprised? Cause I'm not. Hey guys, so the reason I am catching up with you right now is because I'm gonna do another step in my prep video. So what I need to do is sort these eyebrows out, meaning that I need to pluck them on the ends because they're just really messy and then I don't know about anyone else, I'm being really real here, but I get a little bit of a moustache here, so don't hate me because I know that you're not meant to do this, this is not right, but I'm going to use a razor, I've not used this razor yet, don't shout at me, I know you're not meant to use a razor because it grows back thick or whatever, but it's literally just a few hairs that I'm not going to like, I'm not going to get waxing materials out just for the hairs, so I'm just going to quickly, there we go, all done. Just a few little strokes. Now for the eyebrows, I I don't know if I actually told you guys, but I got my eyebrows microbladed a couple of months ago. I got combination brow and genuinely guys, this is the best thing I've ever done in my life because I've literally got nothing on them now, I've just come out of the shower. Um, And I love just not having to do anything with them anymore. Like it's genuinely so handy. Highly recommend to a friend, but I'm just gonna like tidy up the edges and just pluck them and then what I like to do is just brush them up and then just like cut off the little top bits that are like not in line with the rest of my eyebrows, if you know what I mean. All right guys, that is it. No major differences whatsoever, just little cleanups. But I'm just gonna do my skincare routine, so I thought I would take you guys through it. I've started using a couple of new products and I am absolutely loving them. So they're from Kiehl's and I have only ever really tried like one product from Kiehl's in the past and I was never really that impressed. So I never like branched out again to use stuff from there. But I went to Portugal the other week and we only took carry-ons. We didn't take suitcases or anything. So I wasn't allowed to take anything that was over 100 mils. So I couldn't take my face wash. So I was at the airport having a little wander and I just thought, and for me, it's quite like, like I personally never really branch out now because like I found the products that work for my skin and I never really buy new ones just in case because I feel like my skin's quite like sensitive and breaks out really easily. But I did buy a couple of products from Kiehl's because I did actually just genuinely really need a first wash. So I got this one from Kiehl's. It is the Blue Herbal Blemish Cleanser Treatment. And guys, I don't know if it's this um, cleanser alone, but my skin, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood, has cleared up so much and is not actually getting any new breakouts. This is genuinely amazing. It's got salicylic acid in it. It literally says salicylic acid blemish treatment. Guys, it's amazing. I would highly, highly, highly recommend this if you've got like blemish prone skin, if you've got spots or acne, it is so good. I love it so much. My skin right now, I've just used it in the shower, and my skin right now does feel dry, but I think that is literally just the salicylic acid. If you like follow up with a good moisturizer, I'm sure you'll be all good. But for my skin, like for my spots and stuff, it's genuinely amazing, amazing. And then the next product that I got was another Unreal product. I got the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. This is what it looks like. And again, unreal product. So this is for like dark spots and discoloration. It does what it says on the tin. I'll tell you that, guys, for free. I actually genuinely think that my scarring and everything has gone down so much since using this, like genuinely. <coughs> And everyone usually says that about products and then I try them and they're lying. But this, I don't know if it's just this or if it's the face wash as well, but that is so good. Both of those products together are like my new favourite thing in the world. So I just put like a bit on my cheeks, my head and my chin and I usually just like dab that in. Obviously because it's a serum, you don't really want to be like wiping it around your face. So I just dab that in all over and also guys before I usually use that I normally use the um Paul's Choice liquid exfoliant but my skin was just feeling like extra dry tonight I did do like a mask this week so that's probably why but I would normally use this but I just didn't use it tonight because 
if you guys use this thing you'll know like how strong it is i think you're actually meant to use it like every other day so it's kind of good to take a little break from it sometimes because it is very strong but it has got salicylic acid in it and this for like textured skin blemishes spots and everything is unreal also such a good product and is definitely worth the hype but literally all i'm going to do now is use my cerave moisturizer that is how simple my skincare is guys because i always just find don't know about anyone else but whenever i use too many products and i just go overboard with the products that is when my skin freaks out and it just breaks out and nobody wants that you know i would love to be one of those really blessed people that can just like use so many different products on their skin at once and like look really glowy and put all these oils on their skin but i'm just not that person i will break out so this is literally all i do and it works for me so but yeah that is it and then all i do is put my eyelash growth serum on and my lash conditioner because if you guys get lvl and you don't use lash conditioner what are you doing you need to be using lash conditioner also guys a product that i highly recommend is the uk lash eyelash serum i know this was like trending um on social media for like quite a while and i've wanted to get a lash serum for the longest time um, but I didn't know which one to get and they're obviously all like really expensive so I didn't want to like splash out on one that I didn't know if it was good or not. Um, but I literally saw so many amazing things about this one on TikTok so I got it. I started using it around the start of June and the growth in my lashes guys is literally insane. My lashes are so long now. I personally naturally have like really short straight eyelashes. Um, that has literally helped so much and then also getting LVL on top of that has just cherry on top of the cake to be honest and I'm very happy with what they look like now so yeah that is my skincare I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm on this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask I literally love this lip balm so much and yeah guys we are done it is hair extension day tomorrow I can't explain to you how excited I am I'm so excited to show you guys what the final result is I'm just so excited to see myself with the extensions. I feel like it's going to be like really weird. I've obviously never seen myself before with like really long thick hair. So it's going to be weird, but it's going to be, I feel like if your hair looks good, you don't need anything else to look good. Like I could be wearing absolutely no makeup, but if your hair looks good, you're good to go. I've got pedicure and hair tomorrow and that is it for the prep. And then we go to LA. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning for my hair appointment. Good morning guys, it's now Tuesday the 19th of September, which means only one thing, it's hair day. And it's also the day before I fly, so I've just checked into my first flight, I've got like another couple of hours before I can check into my second flight. But I am just checking in because I'm basically just about to do my everything shower, apart from the hair wash, so it's kind of not an everything shower. But the whole shave shower, if you know what I mean, girlies. I'm gonna do that right now. And I just thought I'd tell you, I'm obviously not gonna show you, but I just thought I'd tell you because it's part of the routine. So the next time I'll see you guys will probably be at the hairdressers. <laughs>
my hair is done. I am genuinely obsessed. Like, I actually can't get over it. I feel like a different person. I feel like a new woman in the best way possible. And I can just see myself having these for so long. <laughs> I know I said they're going to be temporary, but... <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back home now. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with this hair. It looks very dark right now, but I feel like I always feel like it looks really, really dark as soon as I get it done, just because I'm not used to it. But in a few days, I will get used to it. Like, it's just because when I've been a bit lighter and blonder, it takes a lot of getting used to. But I'm honestly obsessed with this hair so much this is actually such a confidence boost and i feel like it's just what i needed and it's so true when they say your hair looks good nothing else needs to look good <laughs> but i just thought i'd tell you guys like what i've got in case you are like contemplating getting them obviously they're not like a necessity you do not need hair extensions or anything this is just something that i did for myself because as i said my hair is a little bit of a low confidence point for me and i always feel a little bit insecure about my hair because it's quite thin um so I just thought, why not just get them for this trip to LA because I know that it'll just make me feel so much better. But I got a full weft and they're from Remy Cache. I don't know if that's how you say it, but they're in the shade four and it's literally just, as you can tell, it's all like one block color. It's not like multiple colors blended together. It's just one color. And I just feel like this is just giving like autumn, winter. I love it so much. I will let you know how I get on with them over time, but I picked this type of hair extension because it is meant to be the least damaging out of all of them. And that was a super important thing for me. I wanted to have ones that damage my hair as little as possible. So hopefully these don't cause me too much damage. Who knows how long I'll have them in for. I feel like I'm never gonna go back. Like I, I just can't imagine me ever having normal hair again. <laughs> but we'll deal with that when we get to it. But yeah, that is what I got. I'm super happy with them. They are 20 inches, although I did want 18, so I got him to cut them down a little bit. The 20 inches probably would have been down to like here. They would have just been a little bit longer. So yeah, I did get him to cut them down because I didn't want them to be literally like down to my bum hole. So yeah, it's now Tuesday evening. I go early morning. I think I'm gonna wake up around half four a.m. I need to set off around quarter past five, so that gives me enough time to just get up, wash my face, make sure that I've got every last little bit packed. And yeah, I cannot believe how quickly it's coming around. I hope you guys have enjoyed this like prep video. I've really had so much fun making it. And I think I will carry this on a little bit longer. I just need to like put some other things in my suitcase. So yeah, it's not over just yet. <laughs> guys, I forgot to show you my pedicure as well. How cute are these little Frenchies? I can't believe and giving these out for free you're welcome but last little bits need to be packed i kind of maybe need to reevaluate things i need to actually just close this suitcase and just see how heavy it is because i've only got 23 kilos and i am getting basically the entire birthday collection in la so i need to have lots of room left for when i come back so i need to just wear this and just see what it's looking like I have just finished editing this video and I've just realized how long it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that it's like 50 minutes long. Um, so I'm gonna close this video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this prep and pack with me for LA. To any of my US girlies or even UK girls, just any girls from all over the world that are coming to the LA festival, I'm so excited to see you this weekend. I can't wait to give you a hug and I can't wait for you to see the birthday collection because it is chef's kiss but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this little glow up prep video i've had so much fun filming it the next video you will see from me i will be in la so i will see you next week for the la vlog bye